Hello everyone, and today I'm gonna to show you a video going beginning to end using ChatGPT to develop a strategy from the concept to coding to full execution. And I'm gonna show you every single prompt that I enter. A lot of people have been asking me to do this, so here I go. Be sure you subscribe to the channel before we begin. Smash all those buttons below, like, subscribe, comment, any strategy you want me to review, possibly do a future video on it for my top subscribers. This is our first prompt that we're starting with. We're just asking ChatGPT to give us some training bot ideas and concepts. And then we're gonna build the idea before getting any code. And then from there, we'll pick one and hopefully we can deploy it to TradingView after that. So these ones have some different filters on them. For example, the tr trend following bot would have a filter that filters out any choppy markets, any markets we don't wanna be trading in, some kind of comprehensive filter for that. And I can tell you that's going to be huge, especially same concept would apply for a pivot point strategy. If you're in a, a market that's not really trending um, and it's really choppy, maybe a pivot point strategy would be a little bit harder. You want to get into those really volatile markets and get in and get your quick profit in and out, in and out, in and out for that kind of strategy. And then a grid bot would not want to be trading if the market is in a downtrend or in a strong uptrend. So here are three trade concepts. So the core signal for the trend following strategy, it's a long-term moving average with a short-term moving average, a double EMA concept. I've seen this working before. There's a volatility filter, so it won't trade if ATR is below a certain threshold, if it's detected that it's a flat market. We also have that momentum confirmation option to avoid uh, trading if the RSI is super overbought. That might come in handy later on. And for the ranging strategy concept, this is the f kind of trading in a grid market or in a in the choppy markets that the trend following strategy would be filtering out. Uh, you could always combine these. So it'll do the trend following strategy once we're trending. And then once it detects that ATR below a threshold, it would activate this second core part of the bot. That's always something we could do. And the core concept is it'll identify horizontal support and resistance zones, and then it'll trade within there when that ATR is below that certain percentage. So it's, again, the inverse of this. This is the, the trend following uh, concept. The ATR has to be above a certain percent. This one is the reverse of that. The ATR has to be below a certain percent. And then this third strategy concept, the pivot point strategy concept, the core signal is the daily pivot points. So it'll go up a uh, time frame, find those daily pivot points, and then require Bollinger Bands to be within or greater than uh, a certain amount to ensure that pivots are respected and uh, in trending regimes. So we'll skip trades if the bands are too narrow. Now I, I think this one would be really hard to implement that pivot point strategy. So I'm gonna go with one of these two. I'll probably start with the trend following concept and then go from there. I know that I like to trade crypto, so it's always about breakouts. So double EMA is something I've seen work in the past. We'll see how it can code this bot uh, with the RSI filter to confirm for longs and shorts. I would like to proceed with the trend following concept strategy using the double EMA concept you outlined requiring a volatility filter as well and that momentum confirmation I would like it to function as it would filter out trades if the RSI is overbought so we won't long if we are already super extremely overbought and it won't short if we're already extremely oversold so I can adjust that as needed using an input. We can have a toggle for the take profit if the two EMAs cross each other, but I want to have a switch to turn that on and off. And a lot of people underestimate O4 Mini. It's one of the best models on the market and it's fairly good at doing PineScript code. I personally like using PineScript because I'm very familiar and at home with TradingView. It's very easy to use. ChatGPT is obviously better at other programming languages languages like Python, but the capabilities of PineScript are pretty good as well. You can see we already got our full code. We're gonna copy that. So let's just head over to TradingView. I'm gonna open up the Pine Editor in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. 
I'm opening it up and then we're going to create a new strategy here. So I've got this open and I'm gonna just select all of that and hit delete and we're gonna paste our PineScript code from ChatGPT into there and we're gonna see if we have any errors on screen. So I'm gonna hit add to chart. So it worked without errors. I already have some profit already on the current setup, but the first thing I like to do is just head over to the settings of it and click on the properties tab. So I wanna set the initial capital to 100. We're gonna just use a 100 as well. And so we're gonna set the commission structure. So this is just for testing purposes, the settings that I'm gonna be using. And I wanted to make an Ethereum bot today just because, uh, you know, I really like Ethereum, but we've been in a really strong downtrend and recently strong breakout of this really strong resistance. So we are in bullish territory. So overall, we have the double EMA. There's a long signal at this location. So we're currently in profit. And looking back, this is not too shabby, although... You know, maybe we want to switch away from EMAs. Maybe we want to use HMAs or something else. And maybe we also want to visualize those flat areas on screen, that, that ATR, which we can't really visualize yet, but it's in the code. And maybe we also want to visualize those RSI zones as well in another way. So back to ChatGPT, let's just input another prompt and get an update to our script. I want to use transparent vertical fill lines to visualize when the market is flat. And also I want to visualize in some other fashion when the RSI is oversold or overbought, which would lock us out from trades as well. And I would like to use HMA preferably instead of EMAs. So can we switch those two EMAs over to HMA? Return the full updated Pine script, please. And don't forget to add in 0.05% commission and change the initial capital to 100 and the order size is 100 as well. So here's our updated script. I'm gonna just check it. I'm gonna plug it in to see if there's any errors. If there is, we can always come back and ask ChatGPT to correct any errors. We just copy the full error code that Chat, that TradingView would give us. But for now, I don't know if there'll be any errors. If there are, you can just expand this bottom area here and your errors are gonna be compiled here. So you just copy them from here, paste them into ChatGPT and it will know exactly how to handle those errors. Now there's a line wrapping error. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it into ChatGPT for it to fix it. Or I could just put it all on one line myself if I wanted to. But just for demonstration purposes, I just asked ChatGPT here. Do it all in one line for me. Here's the before block of code. I'm gonna just replace this block with this new updated block in one line. And so here's the new HMA version. There's less profit here. Total trades is only five. So let's play around with the settings until we find some negotiable settings. And so after playing around with some of the settings, I've got some pretty decent flat market zones here. Ideally, I would want this whole block to be uh, canceled out, Al although there are some really big candles here in the middle, just fake outs. But this entire zone here, this entire block here is fine. It's trading in this area because it's not highlighted. So we keep that. There just is not enough trade. So let's open up the Pine Editor panel and see what's going on. It looks like it's requiring a bearish cross and a, or a bullish cross, which these are crossover cross unders. It won't take effect if the market is flat or if one of our other strategy conditions that cancel out our entry are active as well. So one thing we can do here is just change this. I'm going to copy these and go to ChatGPT again. Change this to above or below conditions rather than cross above or cross under. And this will help our strategy stay more active and have more trades rather than waiting for that cross up or cross down, which will occur on far less candles. So there's our before and after. I'm just gonna hit copy on that after. And on in our trading view, we're just gonna paste those in. I'm trying to just scan the code for anything else. I don't see anything else that stands out. So let's hit add to chart on this and see where we go from here. And so I can play around with the flat filter and get these zones quite good but the strategy tester still only has nine trades. And 
one of the key reasons for this usually is if you're using the flat order size USD, it will just hit your margin call and it'll stop trading. So you can't really get a good sense of the data or playing around with the settings. So for development, I usually take this over 2% of equity and we'll see far more trades pop up on the screen. So once I take percent of equity, there are a lot more trades, but again, there's a lot of drawdown here. So let's figure out what's going on. Why is it allowing a, a short here? This does not look like a good short. So we would like to add an extra filter here. So one of those filters is it looks like we would only like to short when this orange line is sloping downwards and only long when this is going upwards. So we'll add that as one of our strategy rules. And to find the strategy rules, it's just going to be the strategy dot entry here. So we're going to just copy this whole block and then update it. I would like to add an extra long and short condition. So we'll only long when both EMAs are sloped upwards and only short when both of them are sloped downward. So here's the before block of code. I'm gonna just paste over the new block on top of that. So here's that new block fully updated. Let's just delete the old one and add this new one to chart. And it looks like it forgot one variable here. We changed these to bull condition. And right now it says bearish cross and bullish cross. So we'll just change those to condition. And so now that we got this new version added to our chart, our goal is to make this max drawdown come down this 96%. And since I don't see any flat areas on screen, we're just going to increase those settings until we can map out these really choppy markets. And maybe it'll help that max drawdown come down. And so by editing this volatility threshold one by one, I'm able to get that mox drawdown down a little bit, and then we'll go from there. And just from playing around with the strategy just for a little bit, I was able to get those settings down. Max drawdown came uh, way down, and net profit went up to 500. So from here on, we can look at what kinds of trades we are losing and then just try to patch those areas. And so just by looking, it looks like this is an area of strong drawdown. So if I click it, I should zoom to it on the chart. This is the location of that drawdown on the chart. So this was a trade we could have been in, but we already took our profit, the take profit by that HMA cross. And then after that, we had our period of drawdown. But this was an example where maybe we could have an even broader HMA line or EMA line that will help guide our trades from here, that'll help filter it out. That's one note that I'm making. And then from here, it's just extra choppy. This isn't the best price action to be trading in. Like if you actually zoom in fully to see what is happening, this is very hard for a bot to tell what's going on in this range. Luckily, most of it is blotted out by our filters, but these trades where there's one move in this direction, we're getting caught in that short right there. The reversal same thing with the long so just some really in sub opportune moments for that those are extremely hard ones to filter up but maybe our long-term ema filter that we can add in might help out a little bit so back to chat gpt add an extra filter for entry we also must be above the 200 ema for long below it for short and we want to have these as uh, conditions so we can have multiple take profit conditions. We're going to test multiples at once now so we can stack them and it's going to give us our updated block of code. Sweet. So we got here's our updated code. We're just going to copy the after version here and paste over our before version. Now we just have to play around with the settings and start dialing them in. It looks like this one is a lot more favorable. We're almost at 4,000% profit just using these settings. So I'm going to spend some time downloading this in, see how good I can get it. And just like that, I'm able to get 26,000, 28,000. Seems like the secret here was to turn up that flat filter to filter out most of that market noise and ignore most of these as j just fluff. It would not listen to these as signals. But when there was a clear volatility spike, it would hold an entry and then ride the wave all the way up. So we're able to do that with this current setup. While we're at it, guys, I wanted to remind you of this amazing, brilliant indicator that I coded before ChatGPT came out. 
And this was my signal for the Ethereum trade. The market is up 75% since the bottom of the market. And this was my signal for entering the market on the three-day chart of Ethereum. There was a strong golden cross printing at the very bottom. So that was my signal to start watching the chart. I was watching for this trend line break as soon as it broke up. That was the easiest buy trade that I've ever had, to be honest. And the easiest sell trade too at the very top, this pink RSI also shows the perfect top of the market. And that's a really good way to look at the market from a macro perspective. If I come down time frames, here's the four hour time frame. There was a strong buy signal right before the price started pumping recently. So if anyone missed out on that trade, you can get a free trial of this at my website. It's wap.com slash trade tactics. This is the website right here. And you can also upgrade to the version that also has the trading bot with it. So that's the Wolfpack bot and the Wolfpack Pro indicator for manual trading. That's how I do my big macro trades, holding my crypto long-term, and then I'll sell once we get those massive, massive, massive signals. And on the three-day chart, here's another quick example. This was a extremely choppy period. And if I zoom in, this double golden cross was an explosive trade that predicted an extreme rush. And at the very top, there was a pink RSI as well as a FOMO peak. So that showed the exact top of the market. And then a bearish divergence, which was that last chance to get out before a massive crash of the market. It was also able to show the top of the Tesla market. And there was a strong buy signal at the very bottom of the Tesla market, followed by this pink RSI printed at that exact peak. And if you're unsure about the market in this choppy area, you can see that these bearish flags switched to a bullish flag at that area. That's where the market started really pumping. And that's the turnover point at the very top of the market. And this is a, this is a really strong resistance as well. And Wolfpack Pro was able to predict that pump that Tesla was having. You can set these alerts as well and then get notified on your phone when these macro alerts come in. So you have plenty of time in advance to set up your trade and consider the signal. And for this exact strategy that achieved 34,000% profit, I'm gonna hit copy on this and paste it for free. This is the one we built on stream today in the video. It is available in the Trade Tactics Discord. So I'm just posting it in the Trade Tactics open source strategies in the working scripts tab. And I'm just pasting it under the double EMA chat GPT strategy right now. So you can go and grab that for yourselves right now. And then if somebody wants to make a thread, work on it, make it more advanced, post other settings, feel free to do that. That's all for now. Thank you for watching the full video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.